Hey guys, tonight Mark and I are at the Paris Hotel on the Strip. We are going to Bobby's Burgers by Bobby Flay. Look guys, future home of Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix. Bacon Crunch Burger. Me too. Oh, did you? Yeah. Right on. I ordered the Bacon Crunch Burger, and I guess it has chips on it. Do you guys ever do that? Like when you make a sandwich, you put chips on it so it crunches? I do that. So this will be the first time having a burger like that. I got regular fries and all the sauce. This is Bobby Sauce Ranch Honey Mustard. When Mark was ordering, I heard him ask, what's Bobby sauce? Which is funny because I never asked, but I just said, I need extra Bobby sauce. I don't even know what it is. But he's <laughs> like, what is it? And I'm like, I need extra. When you order a burger, they give you two options for the temperature, medium or well done. I usually get medium well, but she said no. I had two options, so I went with medium. Okay, so I finished my meal. I think if you come here, um, okay, so it's not like fast food, but it's also not restaurant quality. I feel like it's in between. The price, I guess, is in between. Um, if you get a burger, I would share your fries. I didn't finish my fries, Mark didn't finish his. Like, they were good, but I just, they weren't like so delicious that I need to keep eating them, you know? So my burger was pretty good. $23. We could have gone to Vanderpump and spent $40 and had goat cheese balls. I like the burger a lot. I don't think it, I don't think the whole meal was worth the $41. I think mean, if you're gonna come here, you just get a burger, bring your own drink, and get out. Because the burger was only $13, which isn't bad if you're on the strip. But um I don't know that it's it stands up to the Bobby Flay name. Cause he's, you know, I mean, he's not making them. Yeah. And I think things lose their quality as, as it gets passed down, so. Okay, so this place is not cheap, but this is what you can do. So if you come here and then say two people, you both get a burger and then you share fries, that's gonna be like $30. So $15 each person eating on the strip, that's not bad. But Mark's bill, <laughs> what? What was it, $42? Yeah, with the tip. Mark's bill is $42. But I feel like that's like an average meal because he got a soda. Most people drink soda. He got a shake. Like, of course, you want to try the shake. Like, it looked delicious. So that's like a burger, fries, shake, and a drink. That's expensive. But I opted for the free water. So now that we're finished with dinner, I'm just going to walk around, maybe check out some stores, you know, see if there's anything new to show you guys. I feel like there's never like a lot happening at Paris, but who knows? The holidays are here, so maybe they have something new. So it looks like this is kind of Vanderpump's gift shop. It's just so cute. I love that place. Mark and I were just talking about it. I get a little backpack for when I go live. What if I got this one? Honestly, like if this was black and then like this had black stones, I mean even those, but just like black in general, that would be better. Betsy Johnson always has really cute stuff. 
just like fun, like crazy, you know, patterns and stuff. A lot of cheetah, a lot of sparkles. Last time I was out here taking pictures, I was climbing over this big chain, but then I saw that there's an opening, so we're gonna find the opening this time. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is a dust storm happening, but you know, it's a little windy, but I thought I would just pop out here and get some pictures. I'm trying to balance my camera on the ledge of, what is this thing I'm under? Comment below, let me know what is this thing called. So there's a windstorm happening, but you know what? Like I said earlier, we've got content to create. So we're gonna go back inside and continue walking around Paris. The hotel's not that big. There's usually not a lot going on. So, balancing my camera is not working out. So let's go back inside. The wind's starting to pick up again. It's a little crazy. I haven't been coming to Target much. I've been doing pickup orders because they're remodeling and it's just like hectic and you don't know where anything is. But I thought we would come tonight. So Target has this whole new beauty department and I don't know how I feel about it because I don't know where anything is. It's so confusing. Last time I was here, I had to ask someone where to find the cotton balls. So what do you guys think about it? Comment below, let me know. Well, I didn't really need a lot of stuff, just two things, but I think I'm gonna get Hollywood some litter because they sell out of it, and so sometimes it's hard to find. We did not have Hollywood's litter, but I found myself in the book section, and they do have Britney Spears' Oracle, a deck and guidebook to be stronger than yesterday. I guess these are like what you can be, the schoolgirl, the ringleader, so I don't really know what this is. So then, hey, in this, it's like the like tarot cards or something, but it's like Britney Spears themed. So if you know anyone who's a big Britney fan, you should buy this for them. It's a cool gift. Oh my gosh, they are stickers. The fact that Target closes at 10 is out of control. Okay, so this is actual stickers. This is kind of cool, look at this. But they're like matte stickers it just looks like pages in a book but they're actual stickers i don't know what you would do with these they're very different but again i feel like this would be a good gift i don't know i'm just giving you christmas gift ideas for people i guess that's what this video has turned into if you're at target looking for christmas gifts these are what you should buy you're welcome speaking of gift ideas for the britney fan in your life that's cool Sport body of sunglasses? I didn't know this was a thing. I mean, you could not pay me to wear these on a daily basis. <laughs> I just don't think this is necessary. I'm suddenly having a car issue.
Okay guys, that's gonna be it for my vlog. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thanks for shopping with me too. I'll see you guys next time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys.